I am so sorry guys, it feels like I'm bringing you bad news over and over again right now and today that bad news comes in the form of EV Heroes booster boxes. EV Heroes, it's got Moonbrion, it's got some of the most expensive Sword and Shield era cards and it is sinking like a graveler in Cerulean City Gym. Now you might be looking at a chart like this that tracks the eBay last sold listings in the US and you might be thinking, there's nothing wrong here. Everything looks fine with my EV Heroes booster box investments. But if you want to see real-time updates, you know you have to be plugged into a Japanese distributor or reseller. If you are plugged in, you already know that we have seen a 10% drop in EV Heroes booster boxes recently, 365 to 325 US. And over the last 48 hours, we have dropped down to 200 and 75 USD, a further 15%. What is happening? This is a two-year-old set. Why is it dropping so fast? Well, we know the issues right now in the Japanese economy. We know people are hurting. We know the yen is getting completely smashed up against the US dollar, but that is not the whole story. Last week, news broke of a bombshell reprint on Lost Abyss, Incandescent Arcana, and Paradigm Trigger. And that basically has sent the scalpers into a frenzy. They are pooping their pants and they are like, dudes, we got to unload all of our inventory right now before it is too late. And that is causing the drop. There are also some pretty extreme rumors and uh, posts right now. Let's just say posts being put out on many sources, including X, Twitter. And they are saying that it is definitely happening. We had Elon Musk tweeting, EV Heroes definitely getting a reprint. I'm flying to the moon to put some away for a rainy day. Elon didn't, Elon didn't tweet, but it is clear that a lot of people think the Japanese samurai robots, the big Gundam machines that cut the cards, they are about to be printing EV heroes. So there's basically two sides of this debate and people are gonna fall on one side or the other. And there are some good points on both sides. So people who are saying it's definitely not gonna be reprinted are people saying, look, it's over two years old, it definitely won't happen. It's e-regulation cards. They won't be reprinted because people cannot play with them in the standard format. There's also the fact that this might erode consumer confidence in the Pokemon IP and people might just move away from the card game altogether. On the other side, there are those that say, look, Pokemon Japan are just trying to crush the scalpers. I'm one of these people. They can print whatever they want. They can use those Japanese samurai robots in any way they see fit. They don't give a whack about investors. They just want to watch it all burn and try and make as much money in the process. So I will just say, if you're hanging on the regulation thing, just remember they printed Double Blaze out of rotation. So there is a precedent for it. And there is the expanded format as well that people play with. But there is a third point to consider here, guys. And that is that Scarlet and Violet era it's just not selling great. It's not selling great at all. Stores in Japan, from what I understand, talking to people there have way too much inventory and it just keeps coming. Your Crimson Hazes, your Night Wanderers, your Black Flames, people don't want this much of it, but they still keep printing it. You see that on the export market. It's basically at or below MSRP to get it out of Japan. Now, Pokemon might be looking at this and thinking, ah, we got a lot of printing capacity. People don't like these new sets but they really like the old sets, why don't we go ahead and print those? Is that why they're going after V-Star Universe, Lost Abyss, Paradigm Trigger, and why they might possibly go after Eevee Heroes as well? Could it be as simple as in this economy, they just need to make some extra money? Now, there are guys that I respect out there. One of them is Carton Knight. I've talked about Carton Knight before. He is saying 98% this will not happen. And this, he mainly says, is because kids cannot play with these cards in standard format. And this is after all a kid's card game. He does say the 2% chance, if it does happen, would be a very small reprint. And I trust what this guy says. He seems to have a lot of knowledge in the space. I don't have insider information, but I will say it would not surprise me in the least if they do go ahead and reprint EV Heroes to any degree. And I want to reiterate, the reprints are only bad for flippers. They're only bad for scalpers. If you have a long investment horizon, you are going to be absolutely fine. And I still love EV Heroes long term. I think it is a great set and it's not like it hasn't been reprinted before, guys. This has had two major reprints at least. If not, I think there was a third, like a little bit of a smaller reprint as well. So don't worry about reprints. They present a buying opportunity for those with a long-term investment horizon. So I'm going to be watching this very, very closely, see if it drops even further. How great would it be for you to get a booster box of EV Heroes at MSRP, even just below $100, even just below $200? Like, I think it's pretty amazing. So I'll be tracking it. What do you guys think? Are the rumors nonsense? Do you think it's definitely happening? Let me know in the comments. And until next time, take it easy.